Before Iron Gator, uh, we had a lot of variability in our uh, system, so it means that uh, while you were grinding, depending on the people that you were putting in the station, well, you have different uh, level of quality. So that was the uh, mainly the situation before Iron Gator. Working with automatic, um, you know, there was no surprises. Uh, at the beginning, we we sat we sat down together, we we evaluated the project, we made the planification, and and after that, after the planning, you know, everything was installed according to the planning, which was great for us because we didn't have a lot of time to waste. And with automatic, it was installed within the timeline that we have together put in place. After all, front we have a pretty long history with the automatic. Uh, grinding cell. At first, we have integrated some uh, dedicated grinding cell to produce the uh, brake part, and then we switch to the CNC grinding machine. Uh, but the main problem with those two kind of equipment is the versatility and the setup time. Uh, as you know, the dedicated grinding cell is not really flexible. You have to have always the same kind of part, you cannot switch from one part to another one. And as soon as you have some modifications to the tooling, uh, at the molding, you need to rethink all the grinding cells. The CNC grinding cell on this part is a little bit more flexible, but the main problem with those is that the setup time is pretty, pretty long and the setup cost is really expensive. So if you want to integrate a small volume part on that kind of machine, you need to invest a lot of money. And for a mid-sized foundry like us, that's a big problem. So that's why we come with the design of the Iron Gator. The main, uh, the, the, the good thing about the Iron Gator is it's pretty cheap to integrate some new parts. You only need to design a new uh, tooling for the robot, uh, produce a new program for the vision, and, the, and there we go, you can produce a new part. And on the operator side, the, the, the time, the learning curve of, for the operator is pretty quick. So an operator can be teach how to operate the cell in maybe a few hours. And as soon as you need to do a setup and change production, that's pretty fast because you only have to change the program, then change the tooling, and then here we go, you can produce with a new part. So for us, that's a big improvement in our finishing process. I would recommend automatic for all the companies that requires a, a high level of manual people and using the robotics naturally will eliminate or reduce drastically your requirement and manpower. I will recommend it automatic to all mid-sized foundry who have some small production lot to big production lot. On our part, we have integrated some parts going to 2,000 parts per year to 2 million parts per year. And we, at this time, we are looking to probably add a third robot cell right on the side, right there. So we'll be able to uh, finish pretty much all the part that we are producing here.